uh, the last two years came for you with big professional decisions. Uh, how is your difficulty to change locker rooms every few months and how do you hand, how do you balance things and come up with these big decisions, these professional decisions? Um, it's, it's pretty much, you know, decisions have to happen in a blink of an eye sometimes. So um, it's just all about adapting, you know, adapting fast to any situation and um, that's part of this game, you know. Uh, so you obviously find somewhere you can build years somewhere. Uh, it's part of that and being, you know, quick on your feet and adapting to everything and the culture of the team and the culture of, you know, organization. So, um, you know, as you build through the years and get more experience, you, you understand how to deal with those things. You're back in Europe for Fenerbahce and you have a great test and a challenge against your former team. Uh, how does it feel? It was good. It's, it's basketball. No matter who I played uh, or whatever team I was going to play in the playoffs, I was going to be excited no matter what. And it's just an exciting time. Uh, you know, just, you know, it's a big moment. You know, playoffs are starting and I love the energy of playoffs. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I wish we was playing today. How does it feel to be back in SEF as an opponent? And what do you expect from Olympiacos fans? I don't know what to expect. I'm expecting just to go out there and, you know, play play hard. You know, me, I don't worry about what's going on in the in the fans. Uh, obviously, they have great fans. Obviously, uh, I had a great year last year here. So um, I'm just looking forward to playing against the team. Um, not worried about anything outside of that. What do you think will be crucial for the series? You know, I'm not sure. Like like I said, it's it's going to go game by game. So uh, it's all about making adjustments during the game and obviously making adjustments after after game. So I think uh, small details. It's going to come down to the team. We both know each other. We both know what players do. So it's going to come down to what players are going what they're going to do in the big moments and the big game. Did you have any talks with Olympiacos after leaving the States? Uh, before I came, yeah, I, I had talks. Um, they already had a good season going. Um, they didn't want to bring me in and uh, mess any chemistry up or just add any player at that time. So, uh, Fenerbahce was, and also I was talking to them, and it was between those two when I took it serious and wanted to come back to EuroLeague, and I decided to come here because they wanted to not just bring me in here, but also bring me in as, as part of their future. And that's what I was looking for. I was looking for a home more than one year, like you just talked about. And uh, I think I found that here, and uh, I'm just every day adjusting, trying to build uh, relationships with everybody. How is working again with Coach to do this after your time together in the Greek national team? It's good. Um, we're going to keep building, obviously, national team this summer, um, now, next year. so. Uh, we're gonna build a really good relationship by the time we're uh, done with everything. So uh, it's good to see him. Of course, it's a decision why I came here is part of part of him being the coach. We talked about the national team. Will you be av available for the World Cup? Yeah, I already, uh, already answered that. And yeah, I'll be here, um, of course. And World Cup's a big game. And, you know, it's important to have, you know, people healthy, you know. Uh, as you see, Giannis has had, had a little back issue with playoffs. So it's like, you know, we got to, it's long. It's a long season and you, you put your body through all this. And um, it's just about, you know, staying healthy for each team and each country and all the players because everybody wants to see the best play the best. Any thoughts for on the news for Thomas Wokap's Greek passport? Uh, it's good. You know, it's good to add talent. You know, other countries are doing this. Um, other countries are bringing in players if they have the, they can get it done, and uh, it's good. It's good to add because everybody's getting better. Everybody's adding players, and um, it, it's good to add a talent like him um, to the to the national team. And um, you know, that's all my comment is. It, it's great, you know, the more the merit. Is there any way or process? to start playing in the national team without the naturalization distinction? I, I, I'm not a lawyer. I don't talk to FIBA. I don't, I don't know nothing about that. So uh, 
that's all on the national team and whoever's trying to do that or whatnot. But me, I, I have no clue and no details on it. When you signed with the Mavs in the summer, Dick Nowitzki spoke very highly of you, of your game and what you bring to the table. What really went wrong in Dallas? I mean, it's not just Dallas. Uh, you know, you, you have to fall into the right spot. Um, I'm a two-way guy. Uh, and people need to understand this when you're a two-way guy or minimum guy at any job or any corporate job, even your job, you're at the bottom. Um, you're not going to be given the opportunity. A lot of things have to go right. You have to meet the right person. You know, the coach has to like your game as a player and just a lot of different things. And um, unfortunately, you know, I controlled what I controlled and played well through the G League and I just didn't get that opportunity. And that happens to a lot of people. And um, Fans need to understand it's not about, oh, he's not good enough, that's why he's going back to Europe. Well, he hasn't, you know, a lot of players don't get the opportunity to even prove they're, you know, an NBA player. And that's just part of life. You know, there's so many players trying to go to the NBA all over the world now. So uh, it's very competitive and you have to have some luck and timing with it too as well. I guess the two-way contract is really stressful. Do you have any regrets or second thoughts about your decision last summer? Not at all. Uh, I'm back here, you know. <laughs> uh, I gave it a chance and uh, it just didn't work out this year. And um, I'm back here. I always knew I could come back to EuroLeague and um, it's good to find a new home and um, I'm glad to be here in this town. Obviously, you weren't there for the whole season, but please share any thoughts if you have on a team that last year played for the Western Finals and this year they didn't make the playing tournament. What do you think that didn't work out in, for, for the Mavs, especially after they added uh, Kyrie Irving? I wasn't, you know, for me, I wasn't around them as much. I was with the G League team, so I didn't get a feel. I would watch games at home, just like all the fans, but, you know, it, it happens like that. You know, uh, one year you could be the champion and next year you could be out the playoffs. So it's all about finding a core group of guys that play well together. And, uh, uh, you, know, I, you know, I'm not a GM, uh, I'm not the coach. So it's hard to say what we're wrong exactly. And um, everybody wanted to see, even fans wanted to see if it'll work with Kyrie and it, it just, they didn't get into the playoffs. So. You know, for me, I, I don't know exactly why and all the details.